Earlier this week, the Chinese government announced it would ban all foreigners from entering in 24 hours' time. The number of dead in New York is climbing, and the morgues are running out of space. Italy now topping more than 10,000 deaths. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says the massive rescue package does not do enough to help his state. The way ahead is hard, and it is still true that many lives will sadly be lost. Hello, friends. It's uh, very, very good to be back making videos for all of you. Uh, I sort of wish it was under different circumstances in terms of what's happening right now. Uh, but it is what it is. I wasn't really sure how to cover something like this because it's real and it's still happening. But I do want to at least bring you something today that's at least positive and something related to what we do on different level and that will become evident during the video. But I would like to say just a couple of words before I start. This new unexpected life altering virus that we still don't know much about or when it will end is scary. Many thousands of people have already lost their lives and the COVID-19 pandemic has kept many of us inside our rooms for long, long periods of time and long, long periods of times to come. While the doctors and nurses, the real heroes of this story, try to keep the world together. It's a scary time for all of us, but we do have a part to play in this. Even if you may not fall into the age demographic that is currently being spewed out on the news of who's going to be really affected by this, we all still have a part to play in this. You can save many lives like those in your family, those around you, even yourself, by stopping the spread of the virus by staying at home. I know what I talk about on this channel is mainly video games, and obviously what's going on at the moment is much, much, much bigger than video games. You know, there's no point for me to even try to inform or convey anything about the COVID-19 pandemic or anything about it. But what I can do is try to at least entertain you, try to distract you even for five minutes of your day from reality of the situation, then I guess that's a good thing to do. We still need laughs, company and connections with people, even in the darkest of times. So here at Different Level for this video and future videos going forward, we're going to try and do our best to entertain you and try to distract you from the reality of the situation. That's not to say we're ignoring the problem of the situation. It's just not what we do. We're here to entertain you. And that's exactly what we're going to try and do in the future. Hopefully, once this nightmare ends, we can all be grateful for the lives we had before. it, And hopefully it ends soon. Thank you for listening. The world right now, as I said, is looking pretty bleak. But one thing I will say is that there's many of us looking to try do our bit to help. Being stuck indoors is the tricky part, as the majority of people who are sub to this channel are looking for content related to video games. So I looked around and I found a whole host of people in the video game world raising money on Twitch or YouTube, or even video game developers like CD Projekt Red looking to help fund the fights. But I did find something that the majority of people watching this video could get involved in, and more specifically, PC gamers could get involved in due to the hardware they have on their PC. All you need is one of these, and let me talk to you about Folding at Home. Folding at Home is a distributed computing project for disease research, which uses idle resources to simulate protein folding. Now, what is protein folding, you may ask? Well, it's a complex process, but the very, very, very small summary is that Folding at Home runs many, many simulations of protein folding using resources from volunteers, and more specifically, focusing on proteins in diseases. Yes, diseases have proteins. The difference with diseases is that diseases are usually created from protein misfoldings. 
Folding at Home aims to simulate the curation of these protein misfoldings found in COVID-19 and many other diseases to help understand them more. And these many hundreds of thousands of simulations are only possible using a supercomputer with a lot of power and resources. So instead, Folding at Home was set up so that it could run off anyone's PC. It allows anyone to contribute unused resources on their PC to a very important project. More recently, the project has shifted to focusing on COVID-19 and running simulations on its protein folding. So why am I talking about this and why is it related to us who play PC games? Well, recently Nvidia urged all PC gamers to join Folding at Home to lend some of the power of their CPUs and more specifically their GPUs to help the fight against COVID-19 and people responded. As of March 31st, 2020, Folding at Home is running on over 1 million devices, according to organization director Greg Bowman. This includes some contributions of power on 356,000 NVIDIA GPUs, over 79,000 AMD GPUs, and over 593,000 CPUs. Folding at Home will only run when you want it to run, and in all honesty, especially if you have a decent gaming PC like myself, you won't even know it's running. And you can set it up so it's only running when your PC is completely idle. And that's it. It only takes a couple of minutes to set up. And even though it may seem like a very small contribution, if enough people do this, it can really, really help the fight with COVID-19 and many, many other diseases. The next step is to get testing and simulations like this done. And the more resources we have, the better and closer we are to beating this thing. And while it's been really rough these last couple of weeks and you feel like you can't do much or help the world out a lot by staying inside your house, projects like this give us a light at the end of the tunnel. So please consider downloading Folding at Home today. All links will be in the description box below. This video is not sponsored at all. This is just something I truly, truly think that everyone who has a PC or especially who plays PC games and has the hardware to do it, should give up a little bit of power. You don't have to give it all up. You know, you can still run everything you want to run on your PC or just have it running when it's idle. Just any contribution will really, really help in the future. Thank you very much for watching this video. And yes, we'll be returning to our scheduled broadcast talking about video games in the next video, of course. I just sort of felt like this video needed to be made and and hopefully you guys understand. Please stay safe and I'll see you next time.